it is recommended you view all video segments in their entirety before beginning the installation process. Then refer back to a specific installation process as needed. In some cases, the customer may not want the walls to extend the full height of their shower or tub surround. Instead, you can install what we refer to as an A-bend wall system. This system is installed just like the other wall surround, except there will be a bullnose edge at the top of the walls instead of them connecting directly to the ceiling. We will begin the installation with the soap dish wall. It is important to ask the customer where they would like their wall system to stop. We recommend bringing the wall up three to five inches past the shower head. Mark the location on the existing wall. This mark will be your reference when measuring your wall heights. The first step of the soap dish wall installation is installing corner reinforcements. Corner reinforcements are part of the triple gasketing system and are used to square up the walls and provide a more permanent seal. To install corner reinforcements, measure from the top of the shower base or tub to the desired height of the wall and record your measurements. Then transfer those measurements to your reinforcements. You can cut the reinforcements with tin snips, and you can do this right in the bathroom because it is not messy. Next, test fit your corner reinforcements. Once they are a perfect fit, clean and prep the existing walls using an industrial strength cleaner and denatured alcohol as needed. Apply silicone on both sides of the inside corner of the wall in a continuous bead from desired height to top of the shower base or tub, and press reinforcements into place. Note, you'll be adding another continuous bead of silicone on top of the corner reinforcements before the final wall installation. The second step of the soap dish wall installation is to measure. We will be demonstrating the level method. Please note that you can also use the large wall template method. Refer to the wall installation section for template method details. You will begin by drawing a level horizontal line across all three walls, one inch below the customer's desired height. This is done so that the reference line will not bleed through the silicone. If the existing tile is level, you can use that as your reference line instead. Now, measure from your horizontal level line down to the shower base or top of the tub in three different locations. Be sure to add one inch to your measurement so the wall reaches the customer's desired height. Record the measurements on the existing wall. Draw a vertical plumb line from the top of the shower base or tub to your horizontal line. Measure from the vertical line to the plumbing wall corner reinforcements at three or four different locations to determine if the wall is plumb. Record the measurements on the existing wall. Now. Measure from the plumbing wall to the back wall in the same three or four different locations. You want to try and measure the walls using the same increments on both sides. If you are covering existing tile, measure the thickness of the existing tile at the bullnose edge and add one quarter inch for acrylic material and adhesives. Record your measurements. Finally, transfer your measurements to your new wall and using a straight edge, draw lines connecting the marks. Be sure that you are using the bullnose edge side of your panel as the top of your wall. To recap, draw a level horizontal line across all three walls one inch below the customer's desired height. Measure from the horizontal level line down to the top of the shower base or tub in three different locations. Be sure to add one inch to your measurement so the wall reaches the customer's desired height. Draw a vertical plumb line from the top of the shower base or tub to your horizontal line. Measure from the vertical line to the plumbing wall corner reinforcements at three or four different locations to determine if the wall is plumb. Then, measure from the vertical line to the back wall in the same three or four locations. Finally, transfer your measurements to your new wall and using a straight edge, draw lines connecting the marks.
Please note, when your project includes simulated tile walls, you will need to take some additional time to pre-plan before cutting to ensure your grout lines will match up on all three panels. This can be done by taking accurate measurements of your soap dish wall and preliminary measurements of your plumbing and back walls. You always want to be sure the full tile is at the top and the equal spacing of tiles are on the left and right. To mark your bullnose edge, you will use the bullnose line guide. The bullnose line guide is pre-marked with holes at 1 8 inch increments for ease of measuring. Locate the appropriate measurement for your bullnose edge. For example, if you are cutting your bullnose edge at a quarter inch, then you will locate the quarter inch hole. Then, place your Sharpie marker into the appropriate hole and slide the bullnose line guide along the bullnose edge. This will make a straight line for you to cut. Note, if there is no tile on the original wall, you want to cut the bullnose edge at a quarter inch. This allows room for 1 8 inch of acrylic or wall material and 1 8 inch of tape and adhesive. The third step is to cut the new acrylic wall, carefully supporting your panel and keeping your fingers away from the blade. The fourth step is to test fit your panel and mark necessary adjustments. You can use a suction cup to help test fit the panel. Be real careful with larger panels while walking through the customer's home. You do not want to knock anything down. Continue to measure, trim, and test fit until complete. If using simulated tile, the suction cup will not work. For easy installation, you can pull down the plastic slip sheeting to create handles and use those to help put the wall in place. The fifth step is to install the soap dish wall. Wipe down the existing wall with denatured alcohol. Tap any excess primer off your brush and into the can so it does not drip. Then apply it around the perimeter and from side to side in lines approximately 5 to 9 inches apart. Keep primer one half inch away from the edge. If you happen to spill primer, WD-40 can be used to remove it. Make sure the primer is dry to the touch and apply the butyl tape on top of the primed areas. Be sure to press firmly when installing so the butyl tape does not pull up when you remove the release paper. The butyl tape should stay in the primed lines for adhesion. Remove the release paper. Apply the silicone in between the butyl tape in a Z pattern, keeping the bead about a quarter inch thick. The sixth step is applying the new soap dish wall. Clean the back of the new panel with denatured alcohol. Press the panel firmly into place. Remove the slip sheeting and wipe down the panel to ensure it's secured. To accurately install your soap dish wall, Measure and install corner reinforcements. Measure your wall. Transfer measurements to panel. Make your cuts. Test fit your panel. Remeasure and cut if necessary. Clean and prep walls. Apply primer and adhesive. Install your new panel. Remove slip sheeting and clean wall. We will now install our plumbing wall. This is a little bit trickier than the last two because it involves more measuring and cutting. Before you begin, please note that you have three options for finishing the ends of your sidewalls. Option one, the bullnose edge. Option two, the use of a tri-guard under the wall panel. Or option three, the use of a tri-guard over the wall panel. Option one is to finish the wall by simply using a bullnose edge on your wall panel. First, you must prepare your work area. Place your drop cloth over the floor and over the existing tub or shower base. Score along the edge of the tile to prevent damage to the existing wall and remaining tiles. Break out the first row of tile with a hammer and small pry bar. If you notice extensive damage to the corner bead, now is the time to mud and sand the wall. You will cut the bullnose edge on your wall panel during the cutting step of this wall installation. Be sure to add the existing tile thickness measure to the quarter inch previously mentioned that allows for an eighth inch of acrylic or wall material and an eighth inch of tape and adhesive. So, if your tile is three eighths inch thick, your bullnose edge would be cut at five eighths of an inch. The second option is the tri guard under the wall panel. The tri guard will need to be installed before your wall panel. Measure from the floor to the desired wall height. Then mark the measurement on the tri-guard and cut it with tin snips. 
place a thick bead of silicone on the inside of the tri-guard and push firmly into place. You can also use butyl tape to adhere the tri-guard. Note, when measuring for your wall panel width, you will want to keep the bullnose edge an eighth to a quarter inch from the return wall edge so there is a place to apply a finishing bead of silicone. You will also need to cut your bullnose edge on your wall panel during the cutting step when using the second option, the tri-guard under the wall panel. You want to cut the bullnose edge at a quarter inch. This allows room for an eighth inch of acrylic or wall material and an eighth inch of tape and adhesive. The third option is installing the tri-guard over the wall panel. After the wall is installed, measure from the floor to the desired wall height. Transfer your measurements to the tri-guard and cut it with tin snips. Place butyl tape on the inside of the tri-guard, remove the release paper, and push it securely into place. You can also use silicone to adhere the tri-guard. Once installation is complete, you will apply a finishing bead of silicone along the edge of the wall panel where it meets the tri-guard. Note that the tri-guard comes in all color options as well as two different sizes. See product catalog for details. To recap your finishing options. Option 1. The Bullnose Edge. Place drop cloths on floor and existing tub or shower area. Break out first row of old tile. Mud and sand as needed. Cut Bullnose Edge. Option 2. Try Guard under wall panel. Measure from floor to desired wall height. Cut Try Guard. Before wall is installed, adhere with silicone or butyl tape. Cut bullnose edge. Option 3. Try guard over wall panel. Measure from floor to desired wall height. Cut try guard. After wall is installed, adhere with silicone or butyl tape.